Good morning. Just getting ready to go on like a mini treasure hunt down to Cav. It's freaking freezing, even though it's sunny out there. Oh, I think my neighbour's bringing a box around and he's going to wonder why I am talking to my camera. Oh, no, that's right. Uh, <clears throat> I just thought I would let you know before I go. We were looking at this. Oh, he is coming. Hang on. That'll look really strange. Yeah, took me a box off. So, oh, yeah, my lovely pineapple vase. I still think it's some kind of exotic fruit because pineapples don't have pink tops. But Tom's maintaining it's a pineapple vase. Did he? I, I don't know. He discovered this. He, I think he looked up pineapple vases <laughs> or something. But it's actually a Prussian. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Art glass vase. And I'm presuming Prussian is the like glass studio. I thought it was, I mean, it's gorgeous. And I thought it was really well made. And it's got the nice clear bottom finished off nicely. And I just want it for me anyway. So £2. But oh yeah, lovely. Uh, but then I looked up Prussian, I'm still keeping it, Prussian uh, vases, art glass vases on eBay and it looks like the, there are some taller ones, there aren't any of these shorter ones, uh, it looks like it may, maybe the maker or the designer was Frantisek Kudelka, it's Czech, um, I was right about it being mid-century and what the, one of the taller ones just sold for £77 on eBay and somebody else has got one of the taller ones on for like 250 quid. so I think that might be pushing their luck, I don't know. But I was like, oh, that's, that really was treasure! And I'm still keeping it, still for me, but I was like, oh, that's quite nice. It's my little £2 treasure is actually treasure, so I thought I'd let you know about that. Right, I'm off on a hunt. Last thing. Also, the bobbles, you might know this, but I didn't, are called hobnails. Well, this kind of hobnails. And River Hunters last night actually found a, like a Victorian boot with hobnails. You know, you talk about hobnail boots in the bottom where they, uh, where they used to put uh, horseshoes on the bottom to, you know, give more strength to the boot. Yeah, hobnails, love them that. These little blue and gold things. Is that oh Wedgwood? Leave those there a minute and I'll look about so
them there. Vases. What does that say? Oh, milk. Oh, that's lovely, that little jug. Lovely milk jug.
in the back just like that and I got lots and I've had I actually got so much well so much heavy stuff not so much bag of coffee bits that I had to call Tom to pick me up like I didn't know if he'd be able to or not but I realized I was not going to be able to get back up the hill with the liquor at eight night <laughs> I might have done it normal times but still freaking heavy but like I've still got uh I'm still healing on my um, incision lines, so I couldn't, you know, I just couldn't have done it. I don't think I'd have burst open. Anyway, yeah, I've got lots of cute stuff. These were £1.49. Little brass froggies, and they're those ones that just sit on the edge of the windowsill or whatever, and they're going to look really nice next to my other little brass candlesticks that I showed you the other day. I think they look very cute next to those. So happy about that. Uh, oh, the sunglasses that you saw me looking at. Ooh, back in the table. Uh, one pair's gone to Tom, a really good wraparound one. So I said, I just, you know, imagine I'm Peach, like from Oxfam. They've got uh, the, let me crooked, that's it. They've got the UVs on the arms. Um, then, you know, good, just good for when you sit on your glasses or you're going somewhere and you lose your glasses and we're well, at festivals and stuff, you just want cheap glasses, really. Uh, what next? Oh, took my trust, my new thrifted fat face bag as well. Oh, God, oh, I did get lots. I did get lots. I also picked this up, uh, £1.29. Oh, it's brand new. That's still got this thing there. It's a... Morris and Company, the Strawberry Thief, just a little quality envelope purse thing. Really like that. Really like that. Notice I don't seem to really pick up stuff to resell anymore. It's all just for me. Did I get anything? Oh, maybe a necklace. But mostly for me. Oh, us. I mean us. Yeah, I don't know about this. Oh, I've got a picked up a pair of earrings possibly for me they look kind of rose gold quite cute that kind of snot drop look but I actually I would actually wear those with this haircut they're not too dangles so they're for me and then I've got this uh, Bieber necklace Go on you it's the Bieber thing it says Bieber on the back and it's got a little Bieber doodah there so, actually, oh, it's quite nice. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Right. <clears throat> Probably enough of that. Oh, and then, oh, yes, something else for me. <laughs> Uh, hang on, let's take some of this off. I just realised I might need to strip. I haven't tried this on yet. What have I got on? Oh, I've got a vest on, that's all right. Um, oh, I've still got my, my binder on. Last day today. Last day, hopefully. But I picked up a little jumper. The same place I got the 199 French Connection blazer last week, I think it was. I got a... Uh, what is it? What is it? What are you? I got a guess, guess Los Angeles. Where did they have it on at originally? Three ninety nine, no three forty nine, and then reduced it to one one ninety nine. A little guess. Um, needs a wash. Cropped boxy jumper, and it feels like it doesn't feel woolly, like because I'm not very good with wool. I didn't actually check. What are you made of? Yes, cotton. Cotton and acrylic, which is what I need really. I can't wear wool. Well, I've got no wool jacket because I have stuff underneath it, but I couldn't wear it next to my skin. Try this on, but I'm going to pop it in the machine. Um, I didn't try it on there. I just thought, oh, it's a nice, whoa, baby. Crop boxy hoodie. And that'll do for me. Yes, I like that. So if I can show you. Um, that is perfect for me. Is there a little, oh yeah, it's a little guess. Oh, that kind of little thing there. Um, yeah, I'll give it a little wash, but 
I love that. You know, drop shoulder, bit on the sleeve, which I quite like for me anyway. And crop, boxy. Jobs are good. Em. Jobs are good. Em. Yeah, I'm really wanting some nice bits on that 199 rail for me. Yay, lovely. So what's next? Uh, whew. I got two bits of the creeds though. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, one more, one more item of clothing. It's my two favourite ages again. So it says Queen Official Merch. It was $3.99. Yeah, it's still got its, uh, where's it from? It's still got its tag. But, oh, I thought I might be able to chop it off to crop it. I don't know if I can much because it might destroy the writing. It's a size large, so I just thought, well, it's going to do for somebody in the house. Um, and it's a nice t-shirt, so I'll pick that up. And then, oh my lord, well worked. Lovely, carry these over. These, oh god, the cruiser is the heaviest thing ever, isn't it? I've got Lacrise bits, but this is maybe it's because this is that does hurt. Um, like ovenware, I don't know. Three pound forty nine each. It's red. It says thirty on the bottom. Made in France. Lacrise. So it's not volcanic orange because I've got volcanic orange stuff here. I've got a volcanic orange pot that I use for the compost. That's volcanic orange, isn't it? it but it is that kind of thing, like with the you know sort of uh what do you call it when it sun rises it fades i've forgotten anyway it's that kind of thing but it's more red uh so yeah two three pound 49 each so heavy lovely though it's gonna look very nice oh it goes really nicely with the smoke as well it's gonna look very nice in this kitchen i'm gonna have to clear some room and i guess if you're feeding a lot of people I could do two of those I occasionally do some like lasagna or not got any cheesy in the oven. Um, but yeah, to get a cruise, £3.49 a pop. Thanking you. Yes, happy with that. Thanking you, the lovely age as usual. And then, I think this is the last thing I bought after decluttering a load of, what did I get rid of? Kath Kidston. Is it Kath Kidston? Yes, the smaller mug sizes I don't use so much. Kath Kidston over Brid Bridgewater last week. God, I'm really liking this jumper. So it's really nice. Uh, I've just bought more mugs. I could not, I literally could not not buy them. It was an impossible option. Um, maybe have them on the counter because I'm wrapping them. Then I said, Oh, they just come in. She's like, Yeah, I've got a theatre as a set. And it's like, oh, mm, oh, they're nice, so cute. I said, um, I'll come back to you in a minute and see what, you know, like if it was a set or not. <laughs> it's like really, um, so this is just. I'm a, this is actually the same size as one I've just gotten rid of. I'm an idiot. The, the other ones are bigger though. I am such a dog. Uh, right, so this one is New in the Country, Matthew Rice. And it's, uh, oh, it's very cute. It's got robins on it. Yeah, the one I got rid of was a Christmas one. Do you know this size? It was this size. I'm such an idiot. Um, eek. Right, well, anyway, I couldn't resist. Well, it's new to me, isn't it? Uh, so cute so i've got that one and then three more mugs and this is, might hopefully be fulfilling my current need oh it's got just seen also it's got um what do you call those Tur turkeys as well that's very cute isn't it very cute uh my chicken need at the moment Lots of chickens in my Bridgewater. So many breeds, so little space, such temptation. And what does it say in the middle? So go for what you really want. So many breeds. Oh, I think it's that the same. Yes, it is the same. Oh, so maybe, the, mm, I don't know, I don't know. Mm, it's bigger than that one. I'm assuming this is a half pint mug. How does that compare to my... I picked up the wrong size. 
Oh, that's the neighbour's hand in there. Um, hmm. Eek. Anyway. I, how could I? I had to. And then... Um, Rise and shine. Wake up. Oh, it's lots of chicken. Oh, it must be a range. Lots of chickens, I mean. They're so gorgeous. Oh, my God. This is going to look so nice on my shelf. I need to declutter something to fit my new fine thing because it's getting out of hand. And I mean, it can't be something that's like for me yet. Oh, this is the same as the uh, Such Temptations, So Little Time, So Many Breeds. And then whilst I was waiting for Tom, I went and had a little, uh, it's called a short black, basically a little Americano in Veggie Boards with a organo. Um, yes, outside. And whilst I was waiting for him to come down, finish his meeting, and posted my, uh, the posts for the jewellery crew as well. I was like, this is quite pleasant actually. A little. A little shifty around Caversham and sit and have a coffee and post my little things for the jewellery crew. I think I can get used to this. I'm all right with that. Uh, yeah, I think that's everything. So I am, um, yes. Well, it's enough. <laughs> I'm well chuffed with that. Well chuffed. I, I'm kind of thinking that Tuesday is a really good day to go down because I know that people drop stuff off at the weekend, but I think partly at the weekend they're so busy they're not so much getting stuff out and I think the managers that are off that are in on the Saturday take Monday off and are in Tuesday and they're they're getting more and I think a lot of donations come in on a Monday as well I'm thinking maybe it's from the weekend or from Monday because like people will have cleared out like done their decluttering at the weekend and then popped them down on Monday like if they don't work and stuff I don't know, that's just my theory, but I'm finding such nice stuff on a Tuesday. So, I'm happy. So, what day is it? Oh yeah, Tuesday. It's Tuesday, funnily enough. Yeah, I'm really still keeping my fingers crossed for car boot restarting Saturday. If so, I will take you with me. Uh, yeah, I actually went down in my head with right you're not to buy heavy things you're not to buy breakables just buy little bits of jewelry okay and so i didn't i thought yeah i would don't need a big bag because i'm not going to buy heavy things hmm oh well i enjoyed it this is getting out it is getting out of hand it's fine right i'll have a big declutter at the end of the year I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and well, if you want to, because I'm about, I'm really close to 1500 subs, so I definitely, that would be nice uh, to be at the 1500. And enjoy the rest of your day. Bye bye. Don't die.